Hello, this is Tola from Trifle Productions with another Blender Quickie for beginners. And in this uh, Quickie, I'm going to show you how you can make a curtain in Blender 2.8. Uh, but these techniques apply to, to any version of Blender, whether it's 2.8 or 2.79 or any version of Blender at all. Now, the first thing we're going to do is get rid of this cube. Press Delete. And then we're going to press Shift A on our keyboard. Bring up the plane. And from there, we're going to rotate our plane on the x-axis by 90 degrees. And to do that, you just press R, X, 90. And then left-click to accept the change. And the next thing we're going to do is press 1 so we can get a front view of what we're looking at of our user interface, 1. And we're going to zoom in by scrolling up, up on our mouse wheel. We're going to press Tab. And we're going to press W and then we're going to click subdivide and from here we're going to just subdivide it into 10 sections or to actually the number of cuts would be 10 so click on this area type in 10 on your keyboard and enter <coughs> excuse me let's minimize that and what we're going to do now is we're going to make the top of the curtain because we want this curtain to hang on a pole and you know give it a very good look make it look like an actual curtain and we're going to press A to deselect everything. Go up here to this section of our user interface. Press on this icon, which is the face selection. Click on that with your left mouse button. Press C for circle select. And we're going to hold down our left mouse button and drag across to select all these planes, or all these faces at the top of our plane. So left click and drag. And from there, we're going to hold down our mouse wheel and try to and pivot around our plane here and we're going to press E on our keyboard and enter that's to extrude this plane uh, that we've selected at the top these sections we're going to press this gizmo here to bring out the move tool and from here we're going to hover over our green yellow or green Y directional but, um, button here left click on that on the arrow and pull back in that direction it is going to separate what we extruded from the uh, rest of the overall mesh and what we're going to do next is we're going to, to press A to deselect all of this at the top so press A and then we're going to press C and then click once on this plane here on this side of the plane on this face click once there and click once here I think we select it let's do that again press A to deselect it because what, what we're wanting to do is select just this part of the uh, the mesh and this part and delete those parts because this is where the pole is going to go to hold up presumably hold up the curtain so press C again and if you're um, area of selection on your uh, C selection on your selection is just too big scroll up on your mouse wheel to decrease the size of the selection and, and scroll down to increase it so we want the selection area to be smaller so we're going to scroll up then click once left click once we did it again left click once because I keep selecting this part back there which we don't want to select so click once there left click once again and we've got those two faces selected and we're going to press X on our keyboard and delete those faces now the next thing we're going to have to do is connect these faces together and in order to do that we're going to go up to our uh, icons up here and, and press the edge select um, icon click on that and we're going to click each face or each edge one at a time and press F so we're going to hold down our shift on our keyboard click click left click left click so here we go Le hold down the shift button and then press F and we're going to repeat that process all the way down to all the edges so left uh, hold down shift button left click but make sure with this make sure you just uh, click first left click first that way it deselects this face and just selects a new edge so left click hold on your shift button left click at the top edge 
and press F to fill in that uh, space with the face. Same process all the way down. So I'm just going to just do it all the way down and not say anything. That way, I don't, you know, you don't have to keep hearing, keep hearing me repeat the same thing over and over. Okay, now that that's done, the next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to hold down Alt because we want to select this whole row of, row of edges straight down all the way down because this is what we're going to use to pin as a pinner, I guess, for the, the curtain. That way when we create a vertex, vertex group for these set of edges as the pin, once we simulate the claw simulation or activate it, it won't just drop to the ground, it'll just hang in the air. So hold on Alt and then left click on an edge and it'll select this whole uh, row of edges all the way down. Okay, you've done that. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to your object data tab and click on that. We want to uh, create a vertex group called pin for our class simulation. So click on this plus button, left click on that double click and group and type in you can type in anything you want I'm just going to type in curtain pin because that's what we're trying to create curtain so let me try to spell that right curtain pin and press enter and then next thing you want to do is press assign and it automatically assigns it a hundred percent to the set of edges here and now what we're wanting to do is that we're going to select the inside edge of every other edge within this mesh. So you have to hold on Alt again and then left click on an edge and it'll select this whole line of edges all the way to this point. So let's do that. We're going to do that all the way down. Remember, hold on Alt, left click. Let me correct that. Hold on Alt, Shift, left click because we want to select an, more than one edge, uh, set of edges in this on uh, this mesh. So hold on Alt and then Shift, left click. So Alt. Then on the next, uh, not the next one, but the the one after the next one, hold down Shift and Alt. And once we've done that, holding down Shift and Alt, that selects every other line of uh, edges in the mesh and leaves the other ones in the middle open. And the reason why we do this, or this has to be done, is because if we do not select these edges here, the other every other set of edges, and we try to simulate this, nothing's going to happen. It's just going to pretty much not have that appearance of a curtain. And the next thing we're going to want to do, let's hold down our left mouse button and then just kind of pivot. We're going to hold down our left mouse button over the Y directional arrow. Click on that, hold it down and pull this out. Because we want we want the middle parts of these um, edges that we've selected to actually stand out from the curtain so it looks like a curtain. Or it stand out from the rest of the mesh so it looks like a curtain. And once that's done, it's all about preparation. Once you get all the preparation done initially, it saves a lot of time in the long run, and it looks a lot better. So now we're going to go to the claw simulation. I'm still trying to get used to the uh, new Blender 2.8 interface. Uh, but let's hover over here and see which tab is the uh, claw simulation. That's physics. Let me see. Uh, is it physics? Oh, that's not it. Hey, there it is. 
it's in your physics tab okay and we're going to click on cloth and we're going to scroll down to let me see shape and once the shape menu comes up we'll see a, a slot here called pin group click on that and click on curtain and it automatically sets the vertex group that we created as the pin for the cloth and we want to also select a few more things collision so that it collides on itself if it collides on itself it won't go into itself it'll, it'll stay separate and we're going to simulate the cloth simulation at this point so we can see what we come up with what we've gotten gotten and after we've seen the simulation what we're going to do now that after that is add more um, just subdivide it more that way it looks more like cloth okay, let's tab out of um, the edit mode and press alt a on your keyboard and let's see what happens and there you go it has the the uh, the appearance of cloth but what we're going to do is that we're going to subdivide it even more and get an even better result so um, press escape let's press W so we can smooth out our mesh W shade smooth and this comes up and usually when this happens when you uh, smooth out a mesh it doesn't look good but because this is a curtain it actually looks appropriate for what we're trying to do and now we're going to go into tab mode again edit mode press A to select everything A to select everything and press W to subdivide click subdivide and this looks good but let's bump it up a little bit more because the more subdivisions you have in the cloth simulation the better results you're going to get so let's click up once and see what happens let's tab out and it actually looks even better now so let's press alt a again and see what uh, results we get alt a and yeah there's your curtain and it just looks really 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 good and as I said before the more uh, you divide subdivide the mesh the better results you're going to get from your cloth simulation so that's how that you can make a simple curtain in blender really quick really easy really straightforward I hope this tutorial was helpful to all of you who have listened or tuned in and I hope um, you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I really appreciate you guys who have sub who have subscribed and people who will subscribe in the future. And I really appreciate what you guys are doing in terms of supporting the channel. Really appreciate it. And you guys have a great night, have a great evening, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.